So welcome back to another supplement review video. In today's video, we're going to review Redcon 1's, focus in here, Total War. Now I'm going to go over the ingredients first, and then I'm going to give you guys my honest review, my experience, my thoughts on the product after we go over the ingredients. I took this for five days. So this is not a video that I'm giving you guys where I took it for one workout, and I'm giving you my experience on that one workout. I wanted to give you guys the full effect. I want to see how I reacted. I had a subscriber ask me just recently about this product, if I can review it, and I've had, I've had other people ask me how it was, and I took it about three years ago, and I couldn't really tell them because this thing's gone through about three, four different formulations. So gave me the chance to purchase this. I got it from Amazon for like $29 for 30 servings. It's not bad. I figure if it's lacking things, I have other stuff around that I could stack with it, which I actually did within the five days. The last two days I stacked an ingredient and then I stacked two other ingredients with it on the fifth day. So we'll get right into the ingredient profile and so I can jump in and tell you guys my experience on the product itself. We'll put the ingredients off to the left here. First ingredient on the list is citrulline malate at six grams. Now this is a two to one ratio. So it's gonna give you four grams of L-citrulline and two grams of malic acid. Now the best, the good thing about citrulline malate over just straight L-citrulline is you get the vasodilation, the blood flow effects, and the pump, but you also get help with ATP production within the body, that's the malic acid. So it's designed to give you more energy through your workouts. Not like it's caffeine, but it's to help you get through your workout more. Next ingredient is beta alanine at 3.2 grams. Now that's a good dose. That's a very decent dose. This is the thing that gives you the tingles until you get used to it. This is for better muscle endurance and helps fight off fatigue. The next ingredient on the list is agmatine sulfate, and that's at one gram. Now, agmatine sulfate is what they call a NOS enzyme inhibitor, and it also inhibits arginase, which is an enzyme that breaks down arginine in the body. So this is designed to give you a add to the pump, give you a better pump, and also prolong the pump, make it last a little bit longer as far as the vasodilation and the blood flow effects. Next ingredient on the list is taurine. And now this is at one grams, one grams, one gram. A taurine is a very, should be a stable ingredient. It's a very, has a bunch of different benefits as far as for the brain, the heart, helps with cramping. Through the properties of adding a little bit of blood flow, it also gets rid of glucose. So it is a GDA, a glucose disposal agent as well, and helps deliver nutrients to the body and helps with hydration. And that in this product is perfect. It was very necessary when I get into the other ingredients on this. You need a hydration product or ingredient when they stack this. So they did a good job at that. The next ingredient on the list is caffeine and hydrous. That's at 250 milligrams. This is the hard hitting caffeine. This is gonna hit you probably within 30 to 45 minutes and last a good hour at least as peak time pretty much. Next ingredient on the list is juniper berry. Now juniper berry is at 150 milligrams. You're gonna find this on a lot of pre-workouts now. And basically what this is supposed to do is it's supposed to amplify the effects of other stimulants. In itself, it's not a stimulant, but it's supposed to amplify the effects. And it also is a heavy hitter as far as a diuretic. You find it in a lot of diuretic or water shedding products. Actually, there's people that actually have pool parties that they try to get ready for and they actually dose this two, three days before to get rid of, rid of a lot of water weight before they go to their pool party. I don't recommend that. But in this product, 150 milligrams, that's a good dose. The next ingredient is di-caffeine malate. Now this is the slow acting caffeine and it's at 100 milligrams and it's going to be about 70 milligrams of caffeine and the rest of the 30 milligrams is going to be the malic acid. So it's a combination and that combination gives you a slow acting effect of caffeine. So this is going to take over as the caffeine in hydrous starts to diminish. This is going to give you a longer lasting alertness pretty much and it helps avoid the crashing effect that you get from a lot of pro, um, a lot of caffeine pretty much. Next ingredient on the list is theobromine. Now theobromine is at 50 milligrams here. In this product it's going to be used as a vasodilator, a diuretic, 
and also somewhat of a mood enhancer. So it's from cocoa, if you ever had chocolate, you kind of like eat chocolate, dark chocolate especially, and you kind of have that feel good feeling, unless you eat too much and you feel nauseous. But it's a very good ingredient at 50 milligrams. It's right there. I, they, they dose between 50 and 100 milligrams, so that's not a bad dose. Next ingredient on here is green tea extract. It's 45 milligrams. So I really don't know why. We know the benefits of green tea. There's tons of benefits. It's about polyphenols, uh, metabolism, fat loss. The only problem is, is that 45 milligrams, it's not really going to give you in itself uh, an effect as far as the green tea dosage effect. So I'm assuming they're putting this in this as a synergistic uh, ingredient that it's synergistic with the other stims in the product and the other ingredients to where it has some kind of a benefit and effect. I don't know for sure, you know, how they're using it. We'd have to get a hold of Redcon 1 and say, why are you using 45 milligrams of green tea? But that's besides the point. It's the effect that matters. And the next ingredient on here is Naringin. Now, Naringin is dosed at 25 milligrams. Naringin in high dosages, not at 25 milligrams, in high dosages, I'd say 300 to 600 milligrams, has helped with fat loss. What they're using it for in this product here is the bioavailability of the other ingredients. So, Naringin helps digest and utilize some of the ingredients. And there's supposed to be, although there's no research, there's supposed to be an effect where it's an inhibitor of PDE enzymes. And our body produces PDE enzymes during high states of energy. And they actually regulate our energy expenditure. So they'll lower your energy. So this inhibit, they say, there's no research, but they say this is supposed to inhibit the PDE, PDE enzymes. So it's supposed to inhibit the inhibitors to give you more energy throughout your workout. Next ingredient on here is Biopreme at 10 milligrams. Biopreme you find everywhere. This is a helps with absorption, bioavailability of all the other ingredients. So my take on the product, my experience. So total war. Is it worth it? What, what what's it good for? I took it for five days. I want to let you guys know that not every pre-workout is perfect. Um, this is not a perfect pre-workout. This workout is going to give you some pump, uh, pump effect, so you're going to have some blood flow. It's not going to be cell swelling pumps, but it's, it's decent. And there are no neural factors to it. So any kind of focus that you get or alertness is going to be from the 320 something milligrams of caffeine within the product. And the coupled with the juniper berry and the theobromine with, with being that they are, you can consider them stems even though uh, juniper berry isn't a stem in itself and theobromine does have some mild stimulant factors to it. So as far as energy wise, it gives quite a punch. Now if you're a stem junkie, it's probably going to be decent for you and it, but it's not like a DMHA ingredient uh, product or anything like that. But to del it delivers a good kick through the workout. What I did notice, and this is very beneficial, I call this a recomping pre-workout because there's the juniper berry and a few other ingredients in there are diuretics. You shed a lot of water. So when I work out, I sweat. I mean, I will. I have to peel my shirts off me and if I throw them on the ground, it's that splat feeling because I've been sweating so much. And after the workout, you've lost a lot of water weight so you you will actually feel the, the look that you will have after running this and it took about three days for this to actually come out but it's like you're taking a diuretic it's like you're, you're leaning out but you're losing a lot of water like I said it's almost like a recomping effect to a slight degree I am on a good diet I, I moderate my diet and stuff so when a lot of stuff has to be in check too and it all depends on what you're going for but in my opinion, this is not like a, if you're trying to build muscle or something like that, you do need to stack something with this. If you're going into the workout and you're there to push some heavy weight, this has no power factors to it. So it has no betaine and hydrous to it. It doesn't have any um, glycerol for some volumization to help you push through the workouts strength-wise. So 
I wouldn't buy this alone for the fact of if you're trying to build muscle. You can stack something in. I also want to get into as well if you're trying to build muscle off this product. But if you're trying to just bust through a workout and you want some kind of a recomping effect and you want some decent energy flow for a couple hours and then it levels out, it does level out smooth, I have no crashing and something that doesn't have any neuro factors to it, just the alertness and the, and of the caffeine and the stim effects, this is actually very, very decent. And if you can find a product to stack with it that has whatever you need, whether it's a neural factor or whether it's a pump product, then it becomes quite a good stacking product. And like I said, there's no perfect pre-workout out there. If you want something perfect, you're going to have to stack in the first place. I stacked this with, on the fourth day, I stacked it with Alpha GPC at 300 milligrams, and that was enough to actually take me to another level as far as cognitive function and thought process in the gym and a little bit more energy. Because I found that the energy is more stable when you do have neural factors within a pre workout because it's not just you driven by a stimulant effect, you know, as far as through the body. But when the mind can be affected as well, the effect of the energy is totally different. And for those that know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. It's just different. And I did stack on the fifth day, I stacked it with the Alpha GPC, and then I stacked it with a pump product. I don't have it here. It's in one of the other cupboards. It's the last review that I just did, which was the... I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> But I'm going to put a card up on the top if you want to go check it out. And I'll probably remember at the end of the video. But very good stack. So I know they make something called Big Noise. Uh, and I browsed over the ingredients to see what it was about. And it had some glycerol. It had some choline and some extra agmatane sulfate. Now, agmatane sulfate at 1 gram isn't going to give you neuro effects. But at 2 grams, it has some neuro properties to it. So stacking like that onto Total War is probably going to be a, a, an awesome stack for an intermediate, pretty much. Not, I don't believe this is a beginner pre-workout, and I'm not even going to suggest this. If you're a beginner, I'm not going to suggest you even try this, because at a half a scoop, which is what I tell you to start, you would totally lose a lot of the vasodilation effects and the blood flow effects when you if you only half dose this thing. So if you're not familiar with 300 milligrams or 320 milligrams within a pre-workout, then start with something like Lit and then work your way up to something like this with more caffeine in it. So if you guys have any other comments or questions, not really comments, but if you have any questions, if I didn't cover it at the end here because I don't want to make the videos too long, then definitely ask it because I will get back to you for sure. I get back to everybody. Other than that, this is Dave. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you can, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or a like. And we'll see you guys next time on the channel with another supplement review.